Hey what's up you guys, it's Spartan, and today we'll be talking about the very best formation using every single different type of troop and also the very best troops from each different category. And just to prove to you guys everything's fair, the difficulties as high as possible, realistic damage, everything like that. And um, so it's going to be 300 versus 1500 and the very best um, cav unit is the Imperial Elite Cataphract. Horse Archer, Kuzite Khan's Guard, Shock Infantry, the Mameluke, and then the best Shield Infantry is Imperial Legionary, and the best Archer is Batanian Fiend Champion. And you'll notice in this, like, this fight, the Batanian Fiend Champion is going to end up getting, like, like, 90% of the kills, because that's just how good they are. But they have to be, they have to be protected, basically, as long as possible. I'll show you guys how to do that. Alright, so 1,420 soldiers versus my 300 soldiers. Alright, so we, I know you guys always ask this. The mod I'm using, and the only mod I'm using, is the photo mod, which allows me to fly around. Alright, so the first thing you're going to do is obviously find like a wide open area. And um, you're going to want to put your Imperial Legionaries in a square formation. And then you're going to get your archers about 30 yards back and spread them out. And then you're gonna get your uh, your shock infantry, spread them out behind your archers, and your um, your cavalry, at least your shock cavalry that lasts longest, the cataphract, will go into a skiing formation off to the side to counter any horse archers they have. And your horse archers will go into spread out formation, um, pretty decently far away. So this is what it'll look like. And you're going to want to make sure your archers are in a static position looking towards your enemy. You don't want them, you want to set it basically. My horses will counter their horses. And just get completely bowed down because their horse archers, the first thing they're going to do is charge your archers. So you just counter with your cav and destroy them. I'm going to move my cav back. Your cav is basically going to be like if infantry or anything gets too close, you're going to charge them in. And as soon as their infantry gets in range, you're going to get your horse archers and attack from the side to slow them down, basically. So about should be soon. Okay, about right now. So. Charging my horse archers, they'll counter their cav, and then my my own horses, I'm going to charge in about, I got to wait until they're a little closer, until they form up a shield wall, and they have their archers in the front. Alright, here we go. Everything's charging in to distract. Those horses should run them straight over and slow them down, kind of dis disorganize them make them break their shield wall and then now I am going to mow them down one by one with my archers as they kind of just like go back and forth and get really confused now your art your horses will get destroyed because you will you will not have enough um, your horses will not like have enough soldiers to take them down by themselves and they'll get destroyed by shield walls but they're they're still very very good for distracting All right, my infantry, I'm gonna have fire at will. Kind of mow down a couple of them. And then now I'll hold fire. Archers are getting a tad distracted. All right, so they're charging in and they're ignoring my shield wall or my square formation. So I'm gonna turn that into a square or into a shield wall and move them back a little bit to catch more of them. All right, there we go. Now they're starting to flank around. Shield wall's holding up pretty good. If they start going down too quickly, I'll just square formation. All right, still looking good. They're starting to retreat a little bit. All right, in my square formation, I'm going to start to charge. So they go and separate on both sides, but still stay kind of like grouped up to catch more of them. All 
All right, so I'll get them back into square formation. And so far they haven't got to my um, my archer line yet, which if they get to my archer line, I will send up my, um, my shock infantry, basically. Oh, and I forgot to mention your shock infantry, you're going to also want to make sure they're looking forward so they don't get in front of the archers. All right, there we go. And then I'm going to put them back into my infantry, back into shield wall to catch more people. And I'm going to charge in my shock infantry now since they're going around. Make sure they're spread out formation and they don't hold fire. Okay, I'm going to put my shock infantry behind, like sort of in the middle, right behind my shield wall. All right, it's looking pretty good. Okay, I'm gonna have them fall back. My infantry is going to go into. The, no, it's still good at that. Just as soon as your infantry starts to get basically surrounded, that's when you're gonna want to turn into a square formation. All right, I'm gonna have my archers charge in now. So anyone that's shock infantry will help out the line. Those guys will charge in. And they'll start flanking around the sides too. And then I can spread them out and have them attack to do as much damage as possible. Right, and that is how you beat a basically five to one odds battle. So you're gonna want like, you basically want about, I'd say about 70 to 60% of your army archers because they're just so flipping good. I, you can either do crossbowmen or you can do battalion fiends depending on how like far into the game you are and how available you have nobles. And you're gonna do legionaries or every, anything that's heavily armored into a square formation. You're gonna have your shock infantry to either back them up where you can combine them on the front lines or you can just kind of charge them in if they get overrun or they start to uh, fall one by one. And you're gonna use your horse archers to slow everyone down and shoot them from behind and distract their cav, and you're gonna use your own cav to kind of counter charge any cav they have, or anything that's starting to get too close as well. So if you guys found that helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more stuff like this. I do uh, in depth for all the different units, and I can talk about why I chose each one of these units. So like the archer, why he's the best, the infantry, why he's the best, the cav, why he's best. So hope you guys enjoyed this one. And there you go. So, Titanium Fiends got 914 kills. Second place was Imperial Legionary. Third was the Kuzai Khans Guard, which they are just insanely good. And then Imperial Elite Cataphract, just a little bit behind. They're more a survival unit. And the Azurai Mamluk Palace Guard is kind of back up. They got 50 kills. So, 1,311 kills for my team, and we only lost 100 soldiers.